the Hermit, Virgo. We have the Three of Cups. I wonder if this will continue from last week's reading, which did almost feel like a part one. We've got Strength Reversed, Leo Energy, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the lovers okay we've got gemini energy but also you know the lovers is sort of like the one of the twin flame cards temperance sagittarius um ten of cups and we have the nine of cups wow this is very nice. Seven of Pentacles reverse. The Divine Feminine is in such a place of balance. Um, we've got, you know, the Hermit being introspective, taking that time alone, seeking higher wisdom, learning more about themselves. And then we've got the Three of Cups still going out, still socialising, so not being in Hermit mode for so long that they almost make themselves prisoner. We have the lovers, so really contemplating about life choices, big decisions, also their divine masculine. We have temperance, which again is that balance, and this card shows it very well. On the one side we've got, what's that, a margarita? Cupcakes, and on the other we've got carrots and uh, water. So yeah, very, very nice balance. Now temperance is interesting um, in that it's about patience as well. This woman here, she's got one eye open, one eye closed. So it's kind of like, yes, I have faith. Yes, I have patience. Yes, I trust in divine timing, but I'm also just going to peak. So there could be a feeling of a bit of impatience, but it's not anything that's catastrophic. It's not getting in the way of anything. It's just like a quick cheeky glimpse. We have strength reversed with the Ten of Cups. I feel the Divine Feminine is ready to walk through the fire. Anything, you know, of their ego, anything in their ego that might be tripping them up, anything that they are observing through their reflection that is getting in their way, holding them up on this um, journey towards potentially union with the lovers here um, or coming into that higher vibration with their twin. They're saying, you know, I'm ready to face that. I'm ready to acknowledge it. I'm ready to work through it in pursuit of happiness, my happiness, my twin's happiness, the happiness of the community of people around us. Amazing, very, very brave energy there from the Divine Feminine. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Nine of Cups. So, yeah, the Divine Feminine is showing up as being very grounded, being pretty successful in an external way, um, having nice things around them, feeling quite comfortable, feeling quite at peace. One thing I will say, see how she's got the Nine of Cups behind her? I do wonder if for some Divine Feminines there's a feeling of not being totally satisfied in the work arena or with um, maybe where they're living or with their financial situation, you know, one of those manifested material things. Um, so that could be something some divine feminines are contemplating at this time. You know, wanting to make a change because I'm looking at this lady's grey hair and, you know, all of the wealth that she has accumulated and all of the abundance around her with the fruit and we've got the cats and everything. Whatever she does with her time, whether it's work or investing time and effort into something, I think she's been doing it for a good while. She's got to a particular level of success or maybe she's just invested a high degree of um, years here. And there's a feeling maybe of it's time for a change. Okay, so high vibration from the Divine Feminine. The Divine Feminine right now is making it look easy. I don't think it's easy. I think there's some big internal shifts happening or something big they're facing within their own um, ego, but maintaining balance throughout. Maybe, you know, keeping an eye on the bigger picture here, knowing that if there's a brief period of discomfort, if they're being triggered in some way by something, it's temporary. So it looks to me this is not the Divine Feminine's first time of ascending, of healing, of facing triggers. Okay, what else for the Divine Feminine, please? Eight of Wands. The Magician. Wow. Okay, we've got Gemini again, but this is amazing. I think the Divine uh, Feminine is being guided forward, so it could be a busy time, um, but I think they're being pushed by their spiritual guidance team by their guide because there's there's an ascension coming and it's big and it's almost like if you can harness. Um, and I don't, you know, not saying you, the viewer, are the Divine Feminine, I, you know, if I'm being correct. If one can harness <laughs> um, 
whatever this is, this trigger is, this energy that comes with the trigger or the fear or the doubt, whatever the ego is bringing up and transmute it, that's extra power there to channel in the direction that they want. And that is what their guides are trying to help them to do. So it's almost like, let's say you're someone who, when they're triggered, is inclined to get angry. Anger is is a very um, strong emotion. It consumes a lot of energy. If you can take that energy and instead of being angry with a situation that's probably beneath you anyway or just irrelevant and channel that into a direction that's going to serve you that's going to be very powerful so there's something coming through here and there's a reason for it because i think there's something up ahead it's almost like an unlocking of a door for the divine feminine that hasn't been accessible up until now and it won't be until they've overcome whatever this trigger is or this thing that's coming from the ego and the divine feminine knows this which is why they're like, okay, let's do this. It's not great, it's not comfortable, but I know in the end it will be great. Um, okay. And as, the, as I said, I don't think it's the first time the Divine Feminine has done something like this. Okay. We have the Seven of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Six of Cups. Okay, what's on the back? Yeah, Page of Cups reversed. Um, I do think something about how the Divine Feminine spends the majority of their days could be changing and it's a change that's going to make their inner child super, super happy. Um, Six of Cups, Page of Cups reverse, because look, underneath this we've got the Three of Pentacles. Right now it's like they're doing something with the majority of their time that's practical, it's going well, but they might be very unsatisfied or it's run its course. Underneath this we have the Four. Aries, Aquarius, energy, and then the Four of Pentacles reversed, releasing something that no longer serves. And look, death. <laughs> exactly, finally cutting that cord. So this may have been a transition that's been coming for a while. We've got Scorpio here, and then we've got the Nine of Swords. So I do think this is something that concerns the Divine Feminine's practical realm, but also their inner realm. You know, whatever is... Is, as I said, it doesn't have to be a trigger, but it's something coming from the ego. So it could be fear-based, it could be a trigger, it could be um, self-limiting beliefs. It's almost like it's preventing that door from opening, um, limiting a degree, limiting the divine feminine to a particular level of happiness or success. So let's say, for example, just, just to ground this message a bit, let's say someone wants to be a well-known celebrated singer they love to sing, they want to perform, they want to share their voice with other people and they're fully open to all of that um, and they are touring, singing and they're well known within particular communities but they've not made it big time, you know, yet in their, w with whatever they consider to be big time and the reason is their guide is saying but if you, if you make it really really big, the level that you're thinking of, you're going to get more attention from all kinds of people, some of it will be positive, others will be other you know, the rest of the attention won't be what you like. And if this person doesn't have a good coping mechanism for the attention that they don't like, it's it's gonna to be too much, it's going to be overwhelming. So therefore that level of success and visibility has been blocked from them. It's that sort of a thing. So this could be anything. Let's say the divine feminine's like, I hate what I'm doing um, in my daily routine, but the kind of routine I want to have, my ego is telling me is self-indulgent or it's too privileged or something like that. It's never gonna be accessible whether they are feeling that way. So just a couple of examples, could be anything, but I feel the Divine Feminine is going through something that's pretty challenging, I will say, but really making it look smooth and effortless and fully embracing it, not shying away from it. The Divine Feminine I'm seeing here knows that the quickest way through this and to the other side is to just go for it. Um, and I do not think it's their first time doing this at all. Also, another thing, um, Six of Cups, the lovers, whatever this is, could either directly or in a roundabout way be helping contribute to coming into union or into alignment more with the divine masculine, um, whether it's a, a clear and obvious thing or it's like um, a side effect that the divine feminine isn't focused on right now. Okay, so let me pause and have a think about which oracle deck. I really want to use the one that I got tea on. I'm going to see if it's dry enough yet. Okay, so it's a bit, bit damp, but it's shuffles, so I think it's workable. So let's have a look then and see. 
What's going on, please? The Divine Feminine. Yep, shedding skin, exactly. Okay, we have the number 40. And if we break that down, you know, four and zero, we get the four. Something about the Divine Feminine's foundation is changing. I think, first of all, an internal belief, structure, foundation, a reaction to a certain thing is shifting. Then it will lead to a change in the 3D. So let me read what this says. The journey to self is a rebirth. Everything changes from the food we eat to the thoughts we think. We moved from 3D consciousness into 5D consciousness. This transformation is beautiful. Spirit is asking you to trust the process. And I absolutely think the Divine Feminine is trusting the process, is actually actively participating in helping the process along. Um, I don't necessarily think looking at this reading that everything is going to change. I just think one particular thing, but it's a big thing. Okay. So that makes a lot of sense. Okay, let's move on then to the Divine Masculine. Okay, what is going on please for the Divine Masculine at this time? Oof, Ten of Swords reverse. The Divine Masculine is needing to make a decision to get themselves out of this limbo, out of this feeling of, yeah, limbo, but, but like a really painful, painful limbo. It's almost like um, if you accidentally get a piece of glass, you know, you break a glass and you, you stand on it and you get a bit, a bit in stuck in your foot it's like well you've got to take the glass out and attend to it but right now the divine masculine is standing there with the glass in their foot thinking oh gosh this hurts i don't know what to do should i take the glass out or not you know it's this extended period of pain because the divine masculine knows an inevitable end is coming but it's going to get a bit worse before it gets better if you take the glass out you know it's going to bleed more it might hurt more but then you you dress it all of that and it can start to heal um so the divine masculine is struggling to walk into the fire a little bit okay let's see yeah knight of cups reversed knight of pentacles reversed okay it's like they're running on the spot at the moment not moving forward two of swords reversed but knowing clearly they need to so let's see queen of pentacles okay so there's someone else involved that's why it's it's sort of difficult for them as i've paused we have death reverse so uh, scorpio but also um as i said an ending that feels inevitable but it's being delayed and this delay is probably more painful than if they would just go for it and then start the the healing process so this could be a boss spouse partner karmic parent but there is someone else they're considering here and someone that there is some sort of financial financial maybe i meant to say um some sort of responsibility um that they're you know they share a responsibility with this person or something in the practical world the emperor in reverse yeah okay the divine masculine is struggling right now i think the divine masculine's life is lacking joy romance the divine masculine is feeling that their life is all about responsibilities and duties and taking care of this and that um they're unhappy doing it but they're still showing up and pretending it's fine we've got the emperor but the emperor is reversed so they're not feeling like the emperor within they don't want to be the emperor within anymore um we've got aries energy here also of course the divine mass um the emperor can talk specifically about the divine masculine energy and look it's reversed so right now the divine masculine has this very clear awareness that they're not acting in alignment with what they're feeling and wanting and desiring within they're not on the path that feels truly the best and the most high vibrational you know and the most in alignment with them we've got the ace of pentacles i'm feeling like there is something that the divine masculine wants to hand to the divine feminine it could be an offer of commitment but it's almost like they feel they've got to take it out of the hand of this queen of pentacles and give it to the divine feminine um so that could be 
if let's as an example let's say religion is an issue here and their family wouldn't be happy because you're part of one religion they're part of another it's almost like they've got to take the uh comfortability away the connection away from their their family in order to have that connection with you is that sort of thing or if they're in a commitment with a karmic or third party they've got to take that commitment from that person and bring it to you that yep yeah, there can be no sharing six of pentacles reversed eight of cups in the reverse so it's clear to them that there's a return that needs to be made can you clarify clarify this please yeah so if you're in separation this is extra confirmation that you are definitely the person um, that they're wanting to return to and if you're identifying as the divine masculine um, then this is you know if you're in separation with your divine feminine then yes this is obviously who you're thinking about um ten of wands seven of cups reversed there's something here where it's it's an easier path towards the divine feminine than the divine masculine believes right now or sees it's like the divine masculine thinks if i drop this heavy burden of this separation i'm going to find that there's more confusion up ahead but the truth is the seven of cups is reversed it's going to be obvious so there's some resistance within the divine masculine right now around reconnecting or if you're in you know connection sorry if you're in communication and contact there's something that needs to be said that the divine masculine is avoiding but it's almost like as soon as they emotionally accept i want to reconnect i'm going to reconnect or i'm going to speak my truth it's like the clouds part and the sun shines and we can see clearly what the next step is how to do it but they've got to accept first of all they've got to stop feeding themselves the belief that this ending will be hard and this reconnection with the divine feminine will be hard no the ending looks like yes it might be tough there are practical things to be addressed but with the divine feminine i think the reconnection is not hard it's simple but if they don't believe it then for them it feels like it's not simple you know okay so i think that's pretty much it for the divine masculine i mean well, let's see if there's anything else to come through but it really feels like to them they're thinking i'm not happy where i am i've got to end it but it's a struggle i want to reconnect with the divine feminine but it's not simple and they're just going you know back and forth between those things anything else for the divine masculine yeah look the tower okay scorpio energy again but um it could be that something's going to come in some divine intervention to get this moving because the knight of pentacles reversed is no movement yeah three of pentacles reversed seven of wands the divine masculine is fighting this let's get one more five of wands what's on the back king of swords um high priestess i wonder if the divine masculine is going to go through a tower moment soon um to push them forward to bring about some kind of a next stage regarding an ending with this queen of pentacles figure and to push forward to push them forward in terms of reconnection with the divine feminine because they are very very resistant not because they don't want these changes but they feel that the changes are too big um, it's it's too difficult. They can't do it by themselves. Okay. Yeah, and that's interesting. That's the difference here. So both divine masculine and feminine are addressing big changes. I think, as I said, for the divine feminine, it's primarily within for now. Will affect the external though after. For the divine masculine, it's about making these external 3D changes, but the divine feminine is jumping into that fire not because they're excited or thrilled or because it feels great, but because the only way to get out of this phase is to just go through it and deal with it. The divine masculine is um, resisting. I think, yeah, and it's not because, you know, the, oh, the divine masculine, you know weak whatever it's not that they've already done a lot of this inner transformation i think it's like because it's that final point where now it's going to start affecting the people that they have to communicate these things with it's it's going beyond them we have yin yang for the divine masculine the number six shadows grow larger as the light shines brighter yeah see the more they realize it's you they want the more they've got to deal with this shadow aspect of 
you know, crap, I've really invested in, in something here and got myself attached to something or someone I just, I don't want to continue with. Balance is being called for here. You are too much in the light or too much in the dark. We are made of both. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly it. So the Divine Masculine is lacking right now a little bit of that trust in the process, that balance that the Divine Feminine seems to be um, holding on to quite well. We have triggers, the number 13. Pe uh, people may trigger old wounds that we need to process and heal. Look within for love versus being codependent. You may find a pattern you were taught you may find a pattern you were taught that no longer serves you. So I do wonder, see look how we have three people here and then this woman on her knees. I almost wonder if in the past this is the divine masculine with this other person building some kind of codependent situation, whether we're talking about a romantic situation or parent, child, whatever it is, you know, a, a codependency even on um, whatever kind of job they have, wealth, status. This was the Divine Feminine being ignored. Um, and now the Divine Masculine is realising, hold on, I no longer, I've done some healing, I no longer identify with this, I no longer need or want this, how do I get over here? And one of the reasons they might think it's so difficult to reconnect with the Divine Feminine or speak some kind of a truth is because of how they left the Divine Feminine feeling out in the cold or rejected. Um, maybe they even made an active conscious choice to choose another path away from the Divine Feminine. So it's almost like what can they do to make this better and they might think that more needs to be done than really does need to be done like maybe it's enough for the divine feminine that they have done this inner work that they've um grown ascended i don't know you know whatever it is but um yeah okay so i will leave this here um i hope this helps hope it resonated um and hopefully i will see you soon bye